The Galaxy Z Flip 7 promises some big upgrades over the Z Flip 6 with that massive flex window, a bigger inner display, increased battery, but also a surprising downgrade. Is this enough to tempt Z Flip 6 owners or still just incremental? I'll be telling you everything you need to know, but first, hi, I'm Captain Awesome. This is Geekception. Consider liking and subscribing and let's get into it. Now, starting with build quality and the first major change here is that flex window. It has now stretched all the way to 4.1 inches versus the 3.4 inches on the Z Flip 6 which is about a 20% increase. The matte finish is still present on the Z Flip 7, which I love because that was one of the biggest upgrades that I liked on the Z Flip 6 from last year. And the overall square design remains, but it's a little bit more rounder here on the Z Flip 7 than on the Z Flip 6, which is a lot more, I think, square. Also, the accent rings here on the Z Flip 6 is gone. On the Z Flip 7, there's no more accent rings. Taking a tour around the phone and the inner display jumps to 6.9 inches on the Flip 7 versus the 6.7 inch on the Flip 6. The front selfie camera, however, is an unchanged 10 megapixel camera. And on the right side, you get the volume and the fingerprint slash power combo, plus a new mic that is in between those here on the Flip 7 versus the Flip 6 that does not have it. On the left side, you get the SIM card tray in the same spot as on the Flip 6. Now the crease here, Samsung has shaved it down on the Flip 7 and it's even less noticeable on the Flip 7 compared to the Flip 6, which was already less noticeable than the Flip 5. And when you look at the hinge, when the phone is opened on the Flip 7, it's a lot more straighter, the straightest it's ever been, than on the Flip 6, which of course, given when you first get the phone, it's always uh, quite straight, but I would say this is the straightest I've ever seen the Flip 7. Going on to specs, and I think this is one of the biggest changes to the Z Flip line which is that on the Flip 7, you now get an Exynos processor in it compared to the Snapdragon that is on the Z Flip 6. And according to Samsung, they claim comparable power and efficiency on the Z Flip 7 that is the same on the Z Flip 6. It remains to be seen. But yes, this is one that, you know, I'm not one that is on uh, the team Snapdragon versus uh, team Exynos because uh, I've used several Exynos devices such as the S24 FE, which I really love that device. Uh, uh, the Galaxy A series, the A55, A56, and they've been okay so far. So I don't think I have any complaints. Again, if I test it out, I would be able to give my definitive opinion. But so far, you know, I'm giving it a chance. Do you think that this is a downgrade? Uh, please let me know your thoughts in the comments down there below. Moving on to battery, and there's also a big change here on the Z Flip 7. It's a 4,300 milliampere battery compared to the 4,000 milliampere on the Z Flip 6. Z -Z -Z. Uh, it's so confusing to say all of that. So I'll just say Flip 6 from now on, okay? So on the Flip 6, I found the battery life to be really good, really great. I had no complaints about battery life. In fact, it was a one day plus phone where I could end the day and still have about 25 30% on most days. So I was really satisfied with the battery life on the Z Flip 6. And now with even bigger battery on the Z Flip 7, I can only imagine that it will be even better. So when it comes to battery, uh, you know, if you were on the fence with the Z Flip 6 or you had the Z Flip 6 and you were just a power user where, you know, you were ending the day, maybe having to charge halfway, I would say maybe the Z Flip 7 is the one that would actually get you over the line now. And according to Samsung, uh, the playback for the Z Flip 7 is about 31 hours. I'm not sure what the one on the 6 is, but it's supposed to be improved also. Now, when it comes to cooling, the Z Flip 6 introduced a vapor cooling chamber, which made a massive difference, especially if you were coming from the Z Flip 5, which this phone was Lucifer's favorite uh, boy because it got it got really hot. And uh, on the Z Flip 7, they did not, when I had my hands-on session, they did not tell us if it had a cooling chamber or not. I would imagine it does. I would not know why they would possibly remove it from the Z Flip 7. So again, when I have uh, more time with the Z Flip 7, I'll be able to give you many of these specific details, including details like the RAM as well. Uh, sadly, I was not able to check what RAM was on the Z Flip 7 when I had my hands on with it. But yes, uh, definitely looking forward to all of that. Moving on to the camera, and this is a part that I am half disappointed and half okay, I'll give it to you, Samsung. So the disappointment is that the camera systems are all the same, right? It's the same 50 megapixel main camera, the same 12 megapixel ultra wide and 10 megapixel selfie cameras here. But on the Flip 7, it adds that log video, which is the professional video that you can shoot here on the Flip 7 versus the Flip 6 that does not have log video. So the Flip 7 does have a more professional log video setting there. And of course, you still get the same auto uh, framing, cropping that you had on the Z 
Flip 6 because uh, it's still the same 50 megapixel sensor. And some of the limitations of the Z Flip 6, such as being able to shoot only full HD um, on the flex window here, is still present on the Z Flip 7. And in fact, this goes all the way to the Z Flip 5 as well. And it's sad that Samsung has not been able to, you know, uh, make these changes on the flip window when you're recording video specifically. So wrapping up the camera section, I would say Samsung is mostly relying on software. Same thing, similar to what we saw on the S25 Ultra. And as someone who was skeptical when I first had the, uh, my hands on with the S25 Ultra saying, hey, it's the same sensor, it's the same camera. But when I did start using it, I did notice that this camera is definitely more better than the previous one, thanks to software tuning. So, you know, my hopes are kind of high. My hopes are kind of not as low as I would have been if I did not have this prior knowledge. Now, going back to the flex window there and the Z Flip 7 here builds and scales on everything that the Z Flip 6 brought, such as that multi-widget page where here it's much bigger on the Z Flip 7 versus the Z Flip 6. And if anything, it looks way more cleaner. And there was this uh, display where Samsung had the Z Flip 4, 5. They did not have the 6, but I brought my 6 to the hands-on session and the 7. And you can just see how much and uh, different the flex window is on the Z Flip 7 and just how big of an upgrade it now is compared to the previous generations. And moving on to software, the Z Flip 7 ships with One UI 8 atop Android 16, which is the latest Android version, versus a One UI 7 atop Android 15, which is on the Z Flip 6 here. And of course, with the Z Flip 6, you get seven years of software updates. With the Z Flip 7, you get seven years of software updates, except it's now one year ahead of the Z Flip 6, like you've seen here. So uh, uh, updates will probably come to the Z Flip 7 faster than it will on the Z Flip 6. And we saw that with One UI 7, right? It came to the Z Flip 6 before it came to the Z Flip 5. So hopefully it doesn't take as long, but when it comes to software updates and when it comes to just using the phone primarily, I wouldn't say it's a massive, uh, uh, I would say factor in updating from the Z Flip 6 to the Z Flip 7 because they will both get updates for a long time to come. And according to Samsung, the Now Bar and Now Brief has been improved on the Z Flip 7, though I would say I am hoping that it comes to the Z Flip 6 because I don't see why it shouldn't. But yeah, that was something Samsung needed me to know and now you are knowing as well. And of course, both these devices have Galaxy AI, which uh, is present here, and I don't think there's any specific one that is locked to the Z Flip 7 that you cannot find on the Z Flip 6, so Galaxy AI is present on both. And coming to my first impressions and what I feel about this upgrade from the Z Flip 6 to the Z Flip 7, and of course, yes, we've got that bigger flex window, we've got a bigger display on the inside, and I like it, it's a bit more wider now than it is longer, which has always been something with the Flip and Fold devices, is they're such long devices, right? But, you know, Finally, it's a bit wider, which I like, I prefer. And, you know, bigger battery as well. You know, that Snapdragon, which it remains to be seen how that is going to perform, especially when you compare it to the Snapdragon here on the Z Flip 6. But overall, I just felt like the Z Flip 6 to the Z Flip 7 is not as big as the Z Flip 5 to the Z Flip 7. So it felt way more incremental here on the Z Flip 7 when I used it. And of course, you know, it, the cover for well, a flex window is really big now. It looks really modern. I really like that flex window but apart from the flex window though if you have the z flip 6 you know you will not be missing much if you hold on to it especially because you're going to be mostly using the cover screen on the inside and sure it's bigger but it's not that much bigger that you know you hold it and you're like whoa this is so much bigger it's not you know i did not really get that feeling when i held it myself so i would say if you're a current z flip 6 user and you are wondering hey should i upgrade to the z flip 7 except you really really want that big flex window and maybe you are that you know 10% of a user who uses their battery life and they want that extra battery um you know the Z Flip 6 is still great and you know if you're considering picking up these devices and you can get the Z Flip 6 cheaper I would recommend you do it because this is still a wonderful device. I love this device. I still use it. I think once or you know twice a month, I make it my main device that I still use everywhere. So yeah, there's nothing that beats just having a full phone that you know folds in half. And it's the half that I like on like the fold that uh, I cannot use that for camera stuff uh, more uh, frequently. But this one, I use it, and you know, you know, you know, you know what's up, right? If you're a 
flex user i'm losing my breath here because i'm so excited about this i really love doing this oh, how is this my job i really love this anyway so yeah um it's it's a lot more incremental i would say it's not massive and if you're a flip five user i would say you get way more changes there and i made a video if you want to check that out about the flip five versus the flip seven so go check that out but yes uh now it's your turn are you a current flip six user have you been considering the flip six what are your thoughts about the flip seven would you upgrade is this something that you would do let me know all of that and more in the comment section down there below and yes i shall catch you in the next one since you've made it all this far make sure you leave a like make sure you subscribe if you like what i do here you can support me uh whether it's patreon whether it's on youtube here and all of that yada 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 but until the next time don't forget to text me when you get home so i know you got home safe and i'll catch you don't forget to stay awesome bye And thank you for making it all the way to the end of the video and it's another samsung video oh my god it seems like there's never going to be the end of it because i shot so much and i always tell myself every time unpack comes around or anytime any big tech event comes around that you know i'm going to make as much as i can and this time i actually did so well 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 if it is not the result uh, consequences of my actions but um, I love it. I love it. Um, I have the timeline here. I've literally not finished it. So you've even like watched this more than I have. Right. But um, yeah, glad to push this one out, especially because it's following my philosophy of just using devices over the long term and bringing them into the new term as well. So I love that. And uh, there'll be more <laughs> Samsung stuff coming. So please bear with me. Um, but exciting times ahead, especially for the watches um, when I do get to them. But yes, tell me, what are you excited about right now? What are you looking forward to? Um, I would definitely love to check them out. If you have any recommendations, please don't be shy, okay? Um, leave hashtag don't be shy. So I know you made it all the way to the end of the video. But yes, I shall catch you in the next one. Let me wrap this up so that we can get there. We can get there. We can do this. All right, bye.